What's up guys, it's Cool Fred here. Um, welcome to the channel. Most of the things on my channel are about cars and automobiles, but I also like game games and gaming too. So today we're going to talk about the PS5. Alright, so here we go. So this is my PS5 here. So um, for all of us that love the PS5 and like playing it, we can all agree that there's one problem. And, and that problem is that there is not enough space on the factory hard drive that comes uh, installing the system I think it's like maybe somewhere around 850 gigabytes um, it's not even one terabyte and the other thing is it's even less space than that because you have the operating system software which is you know at least 100 to 150 gigs possibly even more but I think when it's all said and done you have about 660 gigabytes of space or so something like that not a hundred percent you know on that number but something like that you got about that much space to uh, to uh, play your PS5 games so um, if you're playing stuff like the GT5 or the Avengers stuff that takes up more space and um, and also like Call of Duty and stuff you're gonna find yourself having to um, like remove a game and add a game and things like that so they were gonna fix that so this is my ps5 here so um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it on hook get it off the the stand here um so this is a little bit of my setup you know um, so I got the controller chargers over here and I did upgrade this is a five terabyte uh, hard drive for the PS4 games so um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this to a safe location so we pop the covers off alright so here we go um, as you can see I've done a few subtle things to it so I got the Sony uh, black PS5 cover so I've been liking that a lot and um, I got one of those stickers off eBay to kind of go in the little slot there to kind of personalize a little bit. So it's kind of kind of got like a, a PlayStation 2 type of vibe going on with it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and get this stand base off. And then I'm going to prepare to get the covers off of it. Alright, so real quick before I pop those covers off, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be installing. So what I'm going to use is the, the Western Digital um two terabyte ssd um game drive with the heat sink um so this one pretty much has i guess the same specs or pretty much the same specs as the the one that's licensed by playstation which is also a western digital um it's a, it's actually i believe the same part number this is a sen 850x um, I believe the one that's licensed is the SN850P. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Alright, so pretty much this is how it comes in this package right here. So th these things are kind of nice and compact. Uh, I want to say that hard drives have came a very, very long way over the years. So this is pretty much the latest high-tech technology of high-speed drives and uh, there it is so all of the specs on there so I'm going to get this uh, I'm going to set it back right here so it's nice and protected put that to the side and uh, I got a couple screwdrivers here, but I believe, like the original one I had, I believe this is a, I want to say this is a maybe a P2. That's probably a little bit too big, so um, I got a precision screwdriver set. Um, so I'm going to use this Phillips head, this, uh, I believe it's a, a one, a P1 screwdriver. Alright, so here we go. Um, so what you want to do, you want to make sure that you access the the disk drive side of the um, the console. So 
So I'm gonna set that down. So hopefully I don't block the camera too much. Zoom out just a little bit. So um, I guess if you have the digital version of this console, I'm sure you can upgrade those as well. Um, and I guess if it's sitting up straight, that's gonna be the right side of it. So pretty much uh, how you remove this cover is um, you're gonna pull this top right side of it and I'm just gonna slide this down and that cover is just gonna come off like so so yeah um, but uh for you guys who want to see if you can what the Sony cover looks like it's got all these uh, shapes and intricate my camera may not even zoom in that far but it's got it's pretty much just like the white one except it's the black one made by Sony so So pretty nice addition, nice little look to it. So basically, once you get that cover off, you want to access this guy right here, which is the um, cover for the expansion slot. So we get that off, and then you have that area in there so um, that's the screw that you're going to use here so you're going to remove that screw and attach it there so I noticed there are several slots in here so I guess um, as the hard drives get bigger maybe they don't get thicker but they get longer so alright so here's a closer look at, at where we're at and this is the area down in here um, that it's gonna slide into so gotta be real careful sliding that in there make sure it gets in there good but also don't want to damage the I guess that's like a computer style printed circuit board or whatever or like a ribbon cable board so that's it so There we go. Hmm, just it just clicks in there. Hmm, I guess it's kind of like a it's got like a little something that moves up and down, maybe a spring loaded or something. So um, it goes all the way out to the last slot. And what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it and remove this screw here. I want to say that this my screwdriver precision screwdriver set is magnetic, so. Uh, let me see here this is hmm, that's a spacer okay so this is actually a spacer so we're gonna take that spacer and move down in that slot so even though this thing is a little spring loaded we still need this spacer here so that's gonna set like like so and then we'll get our screw in there So it's kind of nice to know. I really didn't read any instructions on this. Um, I did see one video somewhere, but uh, I, I did not know into the space room until now. So uh, you guys want to be careful and make sure you put the spacer in there because it's a slot, pretty much like that slot where that spacer goes. It's gonna go here, up under there. So. That's that, and then we're gonna get our dust cover or whatever the protection plate goes down in there. And that's pretty much all it is to it. I mean, it's pretty much something that takes probably less than two minutes to do. All right, so now I'm about to uh, put this cover back on. So basically, you just turn it the right way. Um, it comes down to get it out so basically you're just, you're just kind of going to set it in um, there are a couple little there are a few it's like four I think one two three and four so you're just going to line it up 
where these little prongs will fit up. Or actually, it's more than four. It's probably more like six or seven. Cause you got these down here too. So just gonna set it kind of in place. And then you're just gonna push it until it clicks. And once it clicks, you're in business. So uh, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put my base back on. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and get it set back up over there. And then um, go through the steps of uh, getting it to format. So I'll show you guys that once I get it up and running. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the PS5. Let's see if I got the turn TV on. Okay, so pretty much um, that's my extended storage. Um, the system was off when I hooked that up, but it's detecting the issue with that. So I'll probably just, I guess it's saying I didn't unplug it correctly or whatever, but uh, the system had no power to it at the time. But if I click through here, um, oh, I guess it's trying to repair that, that one first. Um, and in a second it should give me a prompt for the one we just installed alright so here we go so basically um, once it detects your new um, SSD in their storage device you're going to get this menu and you're going to go to the right and select format the M2 SSD press um, X and uh, it's gonna format it real quick looks like it takes like less than five ten seconds to do mm. and uh, there we go I'm gonna hit OK let say your M2 SSD has been formatted uh, it does give a note here it says to change where your games are installed go to settings storage and installation location and it says to safely remove it of course you would turn your PS5 off first to remove it and that's that so um, here we go so it looks like after that up and running And of course it needs a software update, like always. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But uh, you guys tell me what you think. So uh, that's pretty much how you can update the storage on these things. So you can um, store more games. And you don't have to go through the rigmarole of having to... Uh, delete games or uninstall games and install the games you want so now you can have four or five of the games that you want on here and go from there <laughs>